What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Man Up, coming at you with a video. Houston Texans versus the Kansas City Chiefs after the game, divisional round. Wow. <laughs> we jumped out on them quick, fast, in a hurry, like we were supposed to do. We scored fast, like, 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 like a lot of people wanted us to do. So we did that. We did what we wanted. 24 straight points. Well, really, 21. And then we got held to a uh, field goal. But 24 straight points. Uh, you would think, hey, we, we dominated that game. I would think so. <laughs> but, hey, Chief did, did what they were supposed to do. Second quarter, they scored 28 points on us. Now, for the rest of the game, we only scored seven points, and that came in the third quarter. So 31 points, you would think you would win this game. I mean, you know, but our defense just could not stop anybody. Our offense played great. Our offense played pretty pretty decent, pretty good. Two touchdowns from Watson. Well, actually three because he rushed for one. He threw for th 388 yards, you know, 31 uh, uh, attempts. Excuse me, 31 completions, 52 attempts. And I know most of those attempts came at the end of the game, you know, trying to do something. You know, but it is what it is. That's what the final stat line was. Uh, the, uh, Dan Fells caught a touchdown. Kenny Stills caught a touchdown. And even Hopkins with sore ribs had a 118 yards uh, receiving. So we let them score 28 points in the second quarter. And with the uh, announcers, I didn't even know this, but going by what the announcers said during the game, that the Chiefs was the best second quarter team in, you know, this season. Did not know that. Now I do. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, since we gave up that many points so quickly, so fast. Now, what really got us started when we tried a fake punt. I don't know why Bill O'Brien called this play. Fake punt on the... Uh, it was, what, fourth and three, I think it was. And we don't get it. Now, if it was, like, fourth and one, maybe. Or even if you was closer to the, uh, uh on the Chiefs side. Because we was at our, what, 35, 40-yard line when he went for that and didn't get it. If you was on, like, their 30-yard line or their 20-yard line, maybe so. That's understandable. They working, you know, they're working with a longer field. Or... Maybe uh, 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 if it were fourth and one, I get that. But fourth and three at your own, like what, 30 or 40 yard line? No, don't. Uh uh. That, and when we did not get that, that's when the momentum changed. That's when momentum had changed. And that's when the Chiefs just start pouring it on. Now, if you pay attention to that game, we, we played almost everybody. Fairly decent, I guess you could say. Fairly decent. But the main person we could not stop was Travis Kelsey. And that was the main, my main focus on this game was Travis Kelsey. Sammy Watkins, uh, I think he only caught, what, two passes, I think, if I'm not mistaken. No, he caught one pass for 14 yards. So we held him pretty good. Tyreek Hill, uh, uh, excuse me, not not, uh, no, Sammy Watkins caught two. I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, uh, so Tyreek Hill only caught three. Now, the person that killed us was Travis Kelsey. Because I'm looking at the stat line right now. Uh, Bell only caught two. Hardman only caught two. Tyreek Hill only caught three. Robson two. Sammy Watkins two. Williams two. Yielder one. Kelsey caught 10 passes for 134 yards and three touchdowns. That's the person that killed us, and that was the person I said that might that that we had to play like it was like we played the New England game. A lot of DBs, you know what I'm saying, on the field at that point. Forget the uh forget the uh 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 the uh 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 uh, uh, uh dang, defensive ends and the Linebackers and stuff, we needed to play more DBs because of Travis Kelsey. And what happened? Travis Kelsey. Now, 
in the beginning of this game, it looked like everything was going to go right for the Texans. Everything. Now, I ain't going to lie. I was excited, but I knew that you don't count the chickens for the hatch. Of course, you all excited. You you happy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's going your way. But you never count the chickens for the hatch. I already knew that. But our defense is what couldn't get anything done. That's what really killed us. We lost this division around 51-21. to 21. Insane. After going up 24 to nothing. Mm. Crazy. We scored 21 points in the first quarter. They didn't score anything. Second quarter, we scored three points. They lit a fire in their ass for some. I don't know how, but they did. They scored 28 points. Third quarter, we scored seven. They scored 13. Okay. That leads you to believe, okay, well, we got a shot. Fourth quarter. And then nothing happened. We didn't score anything. They scored 10. So, with that being said, to me, this is kind of a reversal game on what we did to the uh, Atlanta Falcons in week 5, I think that was. Uh, week 5. So, and to me, <clears throat> scoring 31 was good. Don't get me wrong. So, our offense did what it could. It's our defense that didn't do anything. And we got to fix that. It, that has to be fixed. Now, I know what a lot of people think are ready to come on my uh, on this video and comment, especially Texan fans. Then I say, fire Bill O'Brien. Hey, like I said before, and I'm stick to what I say, I'm not down for firing them. I'm not down for keeping them. I look at the, uh, uh, the players on the field, and we just could not stop anybody. That's not Bill O'Brien. I'm sorry. That's not Bill O'Brien. That's the players. Uh, hey, I know that's a debate that's been ready to happen, especially with Texan fans. Don't care. You can go back. If you recorded that game, or if you watch some highlights, go back and look. That's a, 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 a execution on the players. I'm sorry. I Like I said, I'm I'm going to bring this up again because I know this film career come out of some people's mouths. Fire Bill O'Brien. If you do, cool. If you don't, cool. Will it happen? I think it will because I said it a hundred times before. If the Texans don't at least make it to the AOC championship game, he's going to be fired. So we'll see what happens. Now, back to the game. What I said before, I think holds true on this one. The Texans... Lost that momentum when it went forward on their fourth and three and did not get it. I get what Bill O'Brien trying to do. He's trying to stay aggressive because he know what kind of team the Chiefs are. So I get that whole idea. But I think that was at the wrong moment. At the wrong time, I guess you could say. I don't know how to phrase that. When you at your own, I think it was like our 30 or our 40 yard line. No. When it's not at least... Fourth and inches or fourth and one, no. <laughs> Kick it away, field goal, whatever it may be at that point. If you was at their 30 or their 20, then maybe so. Because if you don't get it, okay, guess what? They at the 20, they at their 30. That's a normal kickoff, I guess you could say. But when you're on your side of the field and you go for it, you better make damn sure you get it. And that's what turned the game around. And then, if I'm not mistaken, our very next possession on uh, special teams, it was a fumble that recovered by the Chiefs and set them up with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a first and goal. Or maybe uh, maybe that was outside the 10, but still, short, a real short, a, a real short field for them. So they still, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, had a chance. So, what I'm saying here is, that's not, well, the first one could have been coaching. You could say that's coaching. But the fumble, that's player execution. That's not coaching. That's what I'm talking about. So, you can't blame Bill O'Brien for, for a player fumbling. And I know this stuff, in it, like I said, there's going to be a hot topic for uh, Texan fans. Fine, bring it. Don't matter to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, with all that being said, though, Congratulations to the Chiefs. 
going to the uh, 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 AFC Championship game against the Tennessee Titans. And before I get out of here, I want to say, I want to uh, respond to that. I'm not going to lie. I was shocked that the Titans beat the Ravens. <laughs> I was real shocked. It happened. So, good luck to both of those two teams. See what happened with my Texans uh, 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 pretty soon here. <sighs> Man, I'm just disappointed that we started off real hot. Did what we were supposed to do. And like I said, scoring 31, our offense played pretty decent. It's our defense that just could not get a stop when we needed it. Could not get a turnover. That's what we needed. And they just couldn't do it. That's what really pissed me off to the highest right there. When you when we need a stop, you don't do it. And to me, for some reason, that's mind-boggling. That your offense played as good as it could, but there's only so much that you can do. You got to stop them. You got to stop the other team. That's just how it goes. Defense wins championships. Offense wins your games, but defense wins your championships. Don't care. How you how you what what you say on that? Just look it up in history of any sport. It takes defense to to stop the other team so you can win, so your offense can win. And for some reason, our defense did not show up. Our defense showed up pretty good against the the uh, the Buffalo Bills. Defense showed up pretty good when they went up sixteen to nothing. JJ White got that sack. And then we basically shut them down. They scored only three more points the rest of the game for the, that third quarter. They scored nothing in the fourth. And then didn't score nothing in overtime. So our defense did what it was supposed to do against Buffalo. But for some reason in this game, when our offense just lighted fire, we started off fast. Something we never done all season. We never started off that fast. Never. 21 points in the first quarter. And that was the most in one quarter in franchise history. But it was all for nothing. Before that game, we only scored 10 points on our first drive the whole season. And we more than doubled that. Three points when we were played against the uh, 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 J Jacksonville Jaguars in London. And then seven points the first time we played the, uh, the uh, 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 Tennessee Titans in the, in the first game. And this game here, we are, we want to start off fast, and we did. We can't start no better than that. I mean, no better than that. Three touchdowns, three straight touchdowns in the first quarter. The most in our team history. We did what we were supposed to do. Our offense did what it was supposed to do. I mean, what else can you ask for? It was a defense that just couldn't stop anybody. And mainly couldn't stop Travis Kelsey. Like I said before, I bring it back up, and I'll tell you. Like I said, it was Trevor Kelsey with the uh, 10 yard, excuse me, not 10 yards, 10 receptions for 134 yards and three touchdowns. That was crazy. Everybody else, I'm not going to say we held them in check, but pretty much so we held them in check. <clears throat> excuse me. Pretty much we held them in check. Like I said, uh, I don't know that everybody on, on the uh, Chiefs, uh, on the Kansas City Chiefs, I don't know their names. But Bell only caught two passes. Hartman, two passes. Tariq Hill, only three. Rodman, two. Sammy Watkins, who a lot of people feared, only caught two passes. Williams only caught two. Yeeter only caught one. It was Traffic Kelsey with 10 receptions, 134 yards, and three touchdowns. <laughs> that was crazy. Three touchdowns. That's who that's who killed us, and that's who I was talking about. That 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 was going to kill us, which I kind of feared, and that's why when I did my last video, I said we need to bring that same game plan that we had against the uh, New England Patriots. I said that with mostly DBs. Forget linebacker. Forget so many de defensive end. We need more DBs to stop Travis Kelsey. And look what happened. Like I said, Hopkins played hurt with sore ribs. 
He had nine receptions for 118 yards. He didn't score a touchdown, but that's pretty damn good. You know, seeing how they were doubling him most of the game. That's pretty good. <laughs> and also, it, 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 our defense, we, we, we got to make some changes on that defense. Something has to give. Something has to give. So with all that being said, like I said before, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. You're going on to the AFC Championship game against the Tennessee Titans uh, next Sunday. Congratulations to y'all, too. Uh, uh, looking for another good game. With all that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Our defense got to do something, man. Our defense got to do something. I chunked the deuce. This is your boy, man, up. I'm chunking the deuce. And as always, you was in the man cave. Now, I got to kick you out the man cave. Holla.